Those of you watching this on YouTube, hi, hello. My name's Amber Plaster. We're gonna be playing through some Genshin Impact today. I'm so freaking excited. I've been gone for a long time. I am <coughs> fighting off some demons. <laughs> but um, but happy to be here. Yay! Okay. Car is it Carabert or Carabe? Car Carabet. How do you pronounce this word? <laughs> oh, I'm excited about that one too! Which one should we play first? Hers or Carbear? Car Carbet. Oh my god. Ah, oh, I don't know. I think we should do the Archon quest first. Carry bear? Okay, carry bear. Ca carry bear. Carry bear. All right. We're going to be playing through the Archon quest of carry bear. I'm so freaking excited. It's been a while since we've gotten a lore drop. Let's do it. Huh? Wait. You're that blonde traveler who's on a journey to all corners of Tevat, right? It's me. Who's asking? Do you need something from us? You bet I do. <sighs> I was worried I wouldn't be able to find you. I have a letter for you, you see. It's from another outlander. He was a crafty fellow, let me tell you. Took advantage of a loophole in our mailing system by opting for guaranteed delivery, then filling in the most obscure mailing address I've ever seen. Well, we are always on the road, so yeah, it's pretty tough to get mail to us unless we happen to go to the post office on a whim. So, um, what address did that person give you anyway? Uh, he just wrote, <clears throat> next to a small, white-haired, talking fairy. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, right? And if I failed to deliver the letter, I'd have been bound by regulation to compensate him. Really, he got me good. I count myself very lucky that I ran into you here. All right. Of course, here it is. All yours. Come on, Haima wants to have a look too. It's Kaya. It's been a while, how have you been? I've heard that the two of you are traveling in Sumeru, and I happen to be in Port Omos on official business. Lately, I've been stopping by Jafar Tavern for a drink or two every afternoon. If luck's on my side, then this letter successfully reaches you. Come to me then, and we can catch up on old times. We'll see it as a fated encounter. Kaya, huh? So he's here in Sumeru! Hmm. Now that Paimon thinks about it, Crafty does describe him pretty well! That is definitely Kaya's style. From what he wrote in the letter, it looks like he didn't think there was much chance of it reaching us. Hmm. Or maybe he's just being sneaky. <sighs> Do you think he's making this sound like a miracle of fate so that we'd have to go meet up with him? It'll be nice to catch up with him. Eh, yeah, you're right. It's always nice to see old friends. The letter says that he hangs out at Jafar Tavern every afternoon. Perhaps we should drop in on him then, huh? Carrie Bear! Kaya should be at Jafar Tavern right now. Let's go see him! I see the back of his little blue head. <laughs> I'll have something I haven't tried yet, boss. Uh, sorry, sir. I'm afraid you've already tried every type of liquor we serve. Oh? Well then, just the bill, please. It's just as well, I suppose. I do have other matters to attend to. Kaya, you're really here! Paimon half thought you were playing some sort of prank on us. Hey, Paimon. Traveler. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. And come now, I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good friends. 
Mm, we missed you too. Wait a second. You must be here on official business, right? What do you think you're doing spending every afternoon drinking at the tavern? You itching for a lecture from Jean? <laughs> Not at all. The acting Grand Master positively terrifies me. Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? Very believable. The truth is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry here. So despite how it might look, I'm actually at Jafar Tavern for strictly business purposes. Sumeru spices are famous the world over, and it's long been rumored that this fine establishment was where a certain very popular spiced cocktail was invented. That's why the Knights sent me, their foremost expert in alcoholic beverages, to come and see if it is as good as the rumors say. And how did that go? So far, so good. I'm already in talks with some spice merchants in Port Ormos about some potential collaboration. Yeah, that does sound like a great business opportunity. Guess Don Winery and Master D. Luke are gonna make a tidy sum from this one too, huh? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether this lucrative opportunity gets passed along to Don Winery or not, depends on how nice I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Using your job to settle personal grievances isn't very nightly, Captain! Yeah, have you been to Sumeru before? Oh? What makes you say that? You came to Sumeru all on your own, so you must be quite familiar. Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, though. I just came here on the sly once, when I was very young. Hmm. And? Do continue. <laughs> Do I have to? When I said we could talk about the old times, digging up my past wasn't exactly what I had in mind. You don't have to go into great detail. Well, all right, since you're so interested. Like I said, I was very young then. Don Winery had only just taken me in. Stop looking at the camera! I overheard my adoptive father talk about sending a team of merchants to Sumeru during a business meeting. I'm sure you'll agree that everyone's curious about their roots on some level. And my roots? They're in Conria, which is said to have been located deep underground, somewhere near Sumeru. I don't think Kaya's ever admitted to being from Conria before out loud. He always says he's from Mondstadt. That's really interesting. And so I stowed myself away amidst the cargo and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to Sumeru. But it wasn't long before the merchant delegation received news that I'd gone missing. Their leader promptly found me, and before I knew it, my adoptive father was dragging me back home by the ear. <laughs> it was a short-lived adventure. Sorry I don't have a more thrilling story for you. Honestly, not much. The only reason I knew that Conria was near Sumeru is because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. <gasps> My life had less and less to do with Conria as I grew up, and so I started caring less as well. I used to believe that I had inherited some sort of duty from my father. But then I began to wonder. Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to give me a happier life. A happy life sounds good to me, of course, even if it means being cut off from certain things. This is obviously all speculation. Simply put, I'm afraid that I'm not particularly in the know on this topic. These days, my surname, Albrich, is probably the only link to Conria that I have left. He's also never mentioned his surname before. One death afternoon, please, boss. Tell me, what do you know about the significance of that name, Albury? Albury? d Dainsmith? Ah, you've decided to join us. I was wondering how long you planned on listening in. I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. Dainsliff, if I'm not mistaken? So you remember me? Then we are already acquainted, Kaya Albury. Descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. Huh? I am not prepared for the amount of lore that has just dropped right now. What is happening? What is happening? 
<sighs> what? I take it that you weren't aware of this until now, Kaya. Or you wouldn't have been so forthcoming with your surname. Oh my. That's quite a lot of baggage for a surname, isn't it? Though I must say, it does confirm an old suspicion of mine. I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt after all. I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. Well, perhaps what you told me just happens to answer some questions I carry in my memories. And in any case, I recognize your eyes. <laughs> You're a pure-blood Conrian, aren't you? Very clever. Forgive me for being direct, but I sincerely hope this new knowledge doesn't change anything. If you've already let go of your ties to the past, then keep it that way. Kaya, you're not involved with the Abyss Order in any way, are you? Hey, hold on now. This conversation has taken a rather sudden turn for the deadly serious. And I'm afraid that as someone from Mondstadt, I'm not accustomed to this sort of atmosphere. See, he always says so he's what from if I know my ancestry? Do I strike you as the type who would be bound by that kind of thing? Relax. I'll be just as delighted to hunt down the Abyss Order tomorrow as I have always been. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say I trust Kaya, because I don't trust Kaya. Either way, looks like we're out of time. I've got a spice merchant to meet in a minute, so I'll leave the three of you to carry on the conversation without me. Yikes. Uh, well, all right then. You go do your thing, Kaya. See you around. And Dainsliff, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. Let me buy you a drink. <laughs> That's likely. You don't really trust him, do you, Dane? You're both from Conria, but you get on like oil and water. The fact is, I still do not know him well. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclusions. But can a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? This remains to be seen. So you said that Alvary founded the Abyss Order. I thought my sibling was the founder. Oh yeah! Yeah! I thought her sibling was the founder. Wait a minute. What? I'm so confused on the timeline. So in one of the stories, when we when we meet Dainsleaf, we see the sibling, and the sibling is angry at Dainsleaf, and basically a and and Dain and like basically is like, well, I'm with the Abyss Order now, and we kind of like assume that the sibling is in charge of the Abyss Order, but it's because of something Dainsleaf did. So I feel like something screwy happened with the Abyss Order and the sibling. Like I almost feel like the sibling got messed up or stuck or poisoned or something something happened but something that is not messed up is kaya is definitely a descendant directly from the abyss order and we know that kaya's father wanted to protect him and also put him in monstat for a reason and that he was that Mondstadt's that um that Kaya's father was full of hatred and hope the last time that he looked at Conria. So that's a lot. Yeah, this is like the first five minutes of this freaking um Archon quest. It's a lot. Forgive me if I'm not recalling the details exactly, but this is just a lot. So I would like to hear a little bit more about the Traveler's siblings. So that is the one that I'm going to try to bring up, so we'll see. Well, I suspect that they call your brother their prince, precisely because there is a succession of sorts. Oh, so if he was the founder, he'd be the king, right? Yeah, that makes sense. So what do you plan to do here in Sumeru? I mean to investigate the Loom of Fate. Do you remember that name? Yeah, the Abyss Order's evil plan! We learned about that back in Mondstadt. You got a new lead? Not new. Not exactly. My memories suffer from erosion. But while I was recovering my health recently, I suddenly remembered something. 
Your brother. He mentioned the Loom of Fate back when we traveled together. So it was already a thing several centuries ago? Apparently so. I was also quite surprised when these memories tallied up. I recall that we were traveling to Sumeru when the matter was brought up. So, you're going to the place that he mentioned back then? Correct. At that time, they must have been introduced in one way or another to this concept. If I recall correctly, we were somewhere in Avidya Forest then. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Maybe we'll discover some secret that's lain hidden for hundreds of years! No. Now is not the time. Are you concerned about the Abyss Order? No, it's just... I'm still waiting for my drink. Seriously? After Dane finishes his drink, you prepare to travel. Okay. I cannot believe Kaya admitted to being from Conria out loud around people and also admitted her surname. Let's go! I'm so freaking excited! Holy crap! I just... Okay, I have a lot of thoughts. I'll try to save them till the end. Don't see much about the Abyss Order here. Wait. This place, it's... familiar. What about it? It looks pretty normal to Paimon. Was it like this hundreds of years ago, too? Yes. The forest has barely changed from how I remember it. There is very little human activity here, after all. Hmm. Let's search the area and see what we can find. Is this... a field? It must belong to whoever owns that house over there. But it looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. You could be forgiven for thinking nothing was ever grown here. Or... wait... Maybe nothing ever was grown here. It's a weird thing to say. It's an extinguished bonfire. Forest rangers, perhaps? Looks like it's been ages since it was last lit. And clearly they put it out carefully to prevent a forest fire, too. That's responsible. Nothing else stands out in this area. All that's left is that building. Come on. Wait, we're just gonna go barging in? What if someone's home? Unlikely. There are no signs of life in this area. We should be able to enter without incident. If you say so. Well, uh... You lead the way then, Dane. <laughs> I mean, there might be an Aranara home. Investigate carefully. We mustn't miss a single detail. Hey, look! It's a bowl! It's a bowl! Does whoever used to live here like to cook, huh? Can't you smell it? There's a heavy scent of medicinal herbs in here. Oh, so it's a medicine bowl? Hmm. <laughs> Seems you're right. You've got a good nose on you, Dane. here. Why don't we open it? Uh, and by we, Paimon means you. Paimon's just scared that whatever's inside might bite her fingertips off. Look at Dane in the background. <laughs> Being dramatic AF. What in the world is going on through your head? Huh? This is a mirror. It's broken, too. Was this a makeup box? Let's just 
a regular mirror. Hmm. That's kind of disappointing. Paima was hoping we'd uncover some super big secret. Especially after Dane talked this place up. Well... Mirrors can be used for protection. Especially... Magical protection. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so we Boats have... are made for transferring commodities back and forth. And those that come across Lior tend to stay a while. So it is where many things come to settle. So we have medicinal herbs and a broken mirror that honestly... It could be used to banish magic. And if it's cracked, I imagine that Osmanthus it did wine the job. Tastes the this bed looks pretty ordinary. Huh. There's nothing underneath it either. What sort of person would want to live here? It's so dark and damp. Can't be all that comfortable. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything else worth our attention here. You sure we're in the right place, Dane? My memories are quite foggy, but my subconscious and instincts both assert that something once happened here. Hmm. But we'll exhaust ourselves if we search aimlessly. Hmm. I hear noises outside. Let's go and check. Noises? Is it... It's not much. Just some minor adversaries. <laughs> I mean, it's not unusual if they would be in... have a bed. Monsters? Wow! Dane's ears are sharp, just like his nose! He's in surprisingly good shape for a 500-year-old. Although, for someone who's as full of surprises as Dane, it's hardly a big deal. Anyway, let's beat up these monsters! Get him, Fenty. Get him, boy. Get him. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt that the appearance of those monsters was wholly random. Agreed. There must be something nearby that attracted them. Elemental magic. A ley line anomaly, perhaps. Mm hmm. Hmm. But it seems to be more than that. Okay. I'll go slightly further out to investigate any issues with the nearby ley lines. I might be a while. You should wait for me here. What? You're going alone? You better not be trying to keep some secret from us. Your suspicions are as banal as they are unwarranted. I merely think that this house should remain the focus of our investigation. And as such, someone ought to stay here and keep an eye on it. Not to mention that if even forest rangers are capable of investigating ley lines, I will be more than able to handle it alone. Well, fair enough. Guess we'll just camp out here then. Good thing there's a fireplace over there. Let's make ourselves something to eat! All this running around has made Paimon real hungry. <laughs> Light a bonfire. So, we have something that is being tilled from the earth. We have elemental slimes popping up in the area. We have a very deserted remote location that's very old. Where do you want to go next? We have a crossroad. If you'd like to see Liyue's tourist spots, I have a and few And we have references. a broken mirror, and it wasn't mentioned, but there is a comb in there too, which means that the person has hair. 
I think I wouldn't be surprised if we weren't dealing with someone who does magic. As opposed to like a forest ranger or something. Or maybe someone did magic and they weren't prepared for what they got. Reloading comes more naturally to you than most. Changing the subject. Dane's taking forever. He said that there might be an issue with the nearby ley lines. How bad do you think it could be? <sighs> we came together, but now it's back to just being the two of us again. You know, now that Paima mentions it, we really have spent lots and lots of time together, haven't we? Um, so... Don't take this the wrong way or anything, but, uh, do, do you ever get tired of Paimon being around? You make my day every day, Paimon. Oh, you stop it! Now you're embarrassing, Paimon. <laughs> hmm. So, um, next question. Don't know if it's okay to ask this, but Paimon's curious. What was it like traveling with your brother? Oh my god. The... stars? We gaze at the stars just like this, and we point at the planets we wanted to visit. Hell yeah! I'm gonna do the second one. Wow! We traveled through the universe, always by each other's side. We saw all manner of hope and despair. If this is the first time we've ever been sep this is the first time we've ever been separated. If nothing else, I just want to know what happened. Can relate. Yeah. Hyman understands. Being separated without even knowing the reason why. It's just terrible. But we'll find the truth together. Sure as Paimon's your guide. Just you wait, heavenly principles. And you too to that. Uh, you know what? We've talked too long about this sad stuff. Let's talk about something happy instead, because if you're sad, my mom will be too. All right, all right. It's getting dark, so why don't you rest? My mom will take first watch. Don't worry, no monster's gonna come and eat you up. Oh, come on! Don't say that! My mom just wants to look after you for once. Nighty night. Go on, chew. Off to sleep. I almost started to think that she didn't remember anything about her sibling. <laughs> Hey, time to wake up. The sun has risen. What a deep sleeper. You do know that we need to... Hmm? Tear stains. You dreamed of your sibling last night, didn't you? All right. Rest here a bit longer then. I'll head into the forest to investigate. Is Paimon? Huh. 
Heimann. is not whatever you think it is. Nor should you be poking your nose into my business. Be gone! His outfit is different. He's not from Sumeru. Your travel companion? You mean the one that His was eyes. keeping watch by your side last night? <laughs> Your companion departed for the forest early this morning. <laughs> that much I saw with my own eyes. Wait, everyone from Conry is supposed to be dead. Except for Kaya and maybe Dainsliff. And Dainsliff, like, wants to die. How is it even possible? Outside of possibly the Traveler, Traveler's sibling, Kaya and Dainsliff, that there is anybody alive from Conria right now. How is this possible? How is this possible? What business is that of yours, hmm? All you need to know is that I claimed this place first, and what I do here is none of your concern. Do I make myself quite clear? Leave. No. Maybe he's a hologram? Well, what are you waiting for? Maybe he's a vision we're having? I think I'll ha I'm better off waiting here for them to come back. <sighs> if you must, suit yourself. <laughs> I've been observing you. And you don't look like a forest ranger, nor someone from the academia. Still, I'm warning you, no funny business. Promise me that, and you can do as you please. <laughs> I thought they were all turned into hilly churls. Yeah, or just murdered, like, from war. <laughs> so... I mean, I understand having a Conria outfit. You know, there were people in Economia that had Conrian outfits. But not Conrian eyes. Man, the eyes are so important in this game. It's crazy. I'm no villain. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Just move aside. I'm heading in. May I join you? You... <laughs> Oh, go on then. Have it your way. I knew I wasn't going to be able to hide this anyway. Just, just come in. But no overreacting to anything you see in here, okay? You understand me? Got it. Come on then. Fortune mocking pedigree. Hmm. Oh my god. He has a helichurl. Why do you keep a helichurl at home? Mind your own business. And don't worry. He isn't aggressive. <laughs> How could he be? He was too young for anything like that. So don't you lay a finger on him. Just find yourself a corner to rest if you're tired or cold. You're from Conria, aren't you? Huh? You know Conria? 
Who are you? Exactly. And how do you know I'm from Conria? Oh, I've definitely met others from Conria. Like, a whole bunch of them, apparently. Your eyes. <sighs> do you worship a god, traveler? Conrians were known for not worshipping the gods. I follow no god, though I count some of them as my friends. Hmm. Sounds like you've had an eventful life. <laughs> All right, well, um, my name is Ida, and you are correct. I was once Conrian. Oh, uh, I apologize for my earlier hostility, but you must understand, as, as far as I'm concerned, humans who do not worship the Seven are nigh extinct. And all who place faith in the gods are my enemies. That sounds a little black and white for me, buddy. That may be. But the fact is that chances to talk to people like yourself have been... Few and far between since the Cataclysm. Mm. This wretched curse of immortality. Mm. I, who knows how long I must continue to suffer like this. So he wasn't turned into a hilly churl. And he's been around for the last 500 years because he survived the Cataclysm. He's from Conria. And he's been cursed with immortality, just like Danes has? How come Danes never mentioned him? What is the curse of immortality? The curse? <laughs> it was a little gift given to the people of Conria by those vile gods. We lost our home, our loved ones, everything. The agony of the cataclysm itself was already too much to bear, but then came the curse robbing us any chance of release. All we can do is watch helplessly as our souls erode and our bodies decay. So Aid is just like Dane, someone who bears the curse of immortality. So why did some people turn into hilly churls while you were afflicted by this curse instead? Yeah. Or they were turned into hilly churls. Maybe the curse of immortality turned most Conrian humans into hilly churls but because of their position they their position their belief or their power they weren't turned because although conria began with a single bloodline it was a home to others too any who forsook their gods and came to conria were welcomed as our fellow citizens when the cataclysm came we pure blood Conrians were declared the greater sinners. Upon us, the gods placed the curse of immortality. But those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of other gods were punished with the curse of the wilderness as they fled, turning them into monsters. Those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of other gods were punished with the curse of the wilderness. Hmm. Hilly Trill loosely means hill people. So it's basically like the gods banishing them back to the wilderness. I guess that makes sense. Wait, so that means Kaya is... Immortal? Show. Hmm. 
So who is this hilly troll to you? He is Kari Bear. My illegitimate son. Oh. <sighs> How times have changed. <laughs> I can say that out loud with no consequence now, but... <sighs> It was once a matter of unspeakable shame. I was a noble of Conria. I resented the life that my family had arranged for me. Then, one day, I met a beautiful woman amongst the people. Her roots were in Mondstadt, but that mattered not to me. It was love at first sight. <laughs> Kari Bear faced great hardship from the very moment of his birth. All due to my selfish desires, and, and I was never able to be there by his side for any of it. After all that, he turned into a hilly troll right before my very eyes. I always owed him much, and now I, at least I can finally be close to him. That's good. What happened to his mother? She was. <gasps> we were separated. I do not wish to dwell on it. I'm sorry. Hmm. It could be worse. I suffer the pain of loss because I once had everything I could wish for. <laughs> okay. And now... Now that I have lost almost everything, the little that remains, I see with new clarity. If nothing else, at least I still have Curry Bear. What do you plan to do now? Ah, oh, yes, I, that reminds me. I, I only returned here to check on Curry Bear, but I do have other things I wish to do. You may come with me, if, if you're uh, so inclined. Where was the hilly troll last night? Oh my gosh. Hey, I'm on the couch. I want to see your reaction to the end of this quest. Oh my gosh, dude, there's already so much lore happening already. I can't. A special story mode. You will not be able to continue if you wish to leave. Oh, I was gonna see what happens if I pause it if Paimon showed up, but she, you can't unless you leave this quest. That's a first. Over here. A crafting bench. I'm sure you're wondering why I brought Karibear here to Sumeru. Well. It's because he needs a medicine that can only be made here. One which will help him to recover his clarity of mind. Recover his clarity? When we were in the chasm, Dane said that the curse could not be undone. I do not hope to break the curse. Okay. I am well aware of my powerlessness against the punishment of the gods. But it is said that this medicine is imbued with the power of Sumeru's god of wisdom and can awaken the mind from a state of deep stupor. It has been used in the past to treat cases of mania. <laughs> I believe that it might just work. <laughs> I read about it in a book. <laughs> from the Royal Library of Conria. It was banned. <laughs> I mean, since this medicine requires the power of the Seven to work. In my youth, I, I disliked the life of nobility and craved excitement. 
I was leafing through some forbidden text and happened upon it. He sounds so slobbery. You know, there must have been a reason it was banned. <laughs> what other choice do I have? Hmm? What exactly would you have me do, huh? Vibes. The gods have already punished us. What does one more sin matter now? I understand. Never mind. As uh, long as you understand. I, I'm sorry. I struggle to take control of my mood sometimes. Uh, uh, perhaps a consequence of having lived too long. <laughs> no, that's a consequence of doing too many drugs. As it happens, I am in dire need of some help to make this medicine. My hands don't have the dexterity they once did. I, uh, I fear they may be decaying from within. All thanks to this curse of immortality. <clears throat> okay. To start with, uh, take this ingredient. Oh. Lord Ruka Devada. Hmm. Who has since been erased from our book of memories. <laughs> I've never seen a mushroom like this kind before. I guess that's true. It is slightly more red. Uh, also, uh, do you have any uh, of uh, Sumeru's regional specialties on hand? I believe they're called Kalpalata lotuses and Sumeru roses. I picked some before. Oh, wonderful! Oh, in, in that case, we have everything we need. This is the method for making the medicine. You just need to follow the steps. Hmm. I guess he could have been growing those weird mushrooms in that field. Can mushrooms really grow in a field like this? Yay! Okay. Um. Okay. Nameless taboo medicine of the royal court. I assume there's no passive bonus for this. Okay. <laughs> Sickness unto... Hmm. Is it done? Oh, splendid! Let me see! Hmm. In all honesty, I do not know what the end product is supposed to look like. <laughs> The banned book didn't feature any illustrations. <laughs> well, the moment has finally arrived. Curses. Hmm? No, no! We need to perform one final step to complete the medicine. I said before that this medicine relies on the power of the God of Wisdom for its restorative effects. <laughs> Which means, we must pay a visit to a statue of the Seven. Oof. Since he needs the God of Wisdom's power, should I get Nahida to help? Yeah! Oh. Eid hates the gods. It could complicate things. Let's go. Do it his way. Bring the medicine with you. Well, at least they addressed it. I think Nahida would be the best god out of all of them to visit him and calm things down, though. <laughs> That's one angry atheist. <laughs> Look at this statue. How can I bow before this thing? God of wisdom! Look at me! I will utter no prayer, nor will I sing your praises. You and your kind destroyed my home. Wrought unfathomable suffering on my compatriots, yet 
Here I stand before you. You... You cannot mock me more than fate itself already has. God of wisdom, I seek not to disavow myself of the sinful blood that flows through my veins. I wish only to beseech you to have pity upon a young and unfortunate soul. My son, Carabere, he was turned into a monster before he had the chance to witness anything beautiful in this world. This is no fate for a child. <laughs> if everything the gods have done was in order to have the impious people of Conry bow their heads, then I bow to you now. <laughs> I have given up all I ever stood for. All I ask is for a tiny miracle. For Carabere to see this world once more. Please, God! I beg of you. Tiny Miracle is the name of an artifact in this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have made quite enough of a fool of myself for one day. Let's go. Things will get better. <laughs> Sheesh! Hey, Jason. We're in the middle of a new story quest here. It's intense. It started out intense, and it's, it is staying intense. I'm good, how about you? <laughs> this is crazy, we can't even... go anywhere. I wonder if Paimon will appear if we get too close to the edge of the map. Let's try it. shouldn't stray too far. Dane and Paimon still aren't back. Paimon's really gone! Oh, I don't like it! Oh, I don't like it! <laughs> oh, no! What if that whole conversation is because we lost Paimon? Oh, no. Holy moly. <laughs> Paimon's gone. She went into the forest. When we woke up, she was gone. She's been gone all day. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Holy crap, you guys. Holy crap, holy crap, okay. Okay, I think I'm emotionally ready, okay. <clears throat> Admin 
and stir the medicine, okay. Kari Bear? The hilly trail almost seems lifeless. Its reactions to everything are incredible. Oh, uh, we've prepared the medicine. <laughs> we might as well try it. Yeah. Eid feeds the newly made medicine. Kari Bear, it's me. It's your father, Kari Bear. Anything? Kari Bear, please say something. I'm sorry I couldn't be at your side when you were born. And that I... I failed to reach you and Mama in time when you both were suffering. But I'm here now. Yeah. Papa's been by your side all these years. I've never left you, not once. Are you still angry with me, Kari Bear? I know you're awake now. Do you not want to talk to me? Okay. I'm so sorry, Kari Bear. Forgive me. Please, say something, anything. Please. Please. Okay. <laughs> oh, gods above. What more do you want from me? You took everything from here, and I still bowed to you. I'd give you my very life if only you cared to take it. But you won't even let me die. <laughs> I knew it. I should never have trusted anything that had to do with the guards. I was <laughs> just deluding myself. The gods of this world have never stood with humanity, not even for a moment. Calm down. There might be other reasons it didn't work. Ah, uh, other reasons. What do you mean? Such as, who knows, maybe the dosage was too low. Yeah. Huh. You, uh, you really think so? You have to exhaust all your options. Give up? No, no, n never! And yes, you're right. I, I, I cannot let myself wallow in despair. There you go. Even if I must stay here with him for fifty years, a hundred, I, what difference does it make? I, I do not lack for time. There you go. That's the spirit. To have infinite time and yet no hope hmm. can only be. Let's go. Torture. We'll make another dose. <laughs> The most crucial ingredient in this medicine is the unusual mushroom, which makes things complicated, <laughs> but not impossible. Where did you get those mushrooms from, anyway? I grow them <laughs> in that field. Like a crop? The details don't matter, right? <laughs> Curb your curiosity and just do as I instruct. <laughs> if you truly wish to help me, that is how you can do it. Okay, fine. There is a waterfall near the statue I prayed at. I need you to collect some water from there around uh, two in the afternoon. <laughs> I'll be here watching Kari Bear. Once you're back, I will make some fertilizer for the mushrooms. So, it seems that the people from Conria feel better around noon or two in the afternoon or when the sun is at its highest. Because Kaya mentioned meeting around two in the afternoon. And when Kole got healed, she had to meet at noon to sort of like counter the power of the abyss to be like in the most sunlight. I, I believe that, that that's what was connected to that. Got it. Good. Then and please head over when the time comes. Yeah, why would the time matter? Hmm. All right. Well, I can only assume now that the broken mirror is that the hilly troll woke up, tried to look at himself, and then broke the mirror. It's really weird going this long without talking to Paimon. I wonder how they did that.
Construction, Marking Pedigree. <laughs> I'm all like, Paimon? <laughs> You're back. Uh, Cara Bear's condition is stable. By which I mean he still isn't responding. Anyway, give me the water. Also, I remember there being something to do with the Abyss Order and a waterfall in Mondstadt. Hmm. Maybe waterfalls are... A Abyss ley lines or something? I need you to stand guard here for uh, a while. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let any forest rangers approach the house. Understand? Your secret is safe with me. Ah, good. I'll be back soon. The fertilizer won't take but a moment to make. I don't have a good feeling about what that fertilizer is going to be. So many of them. Hmm. Does watering the field somehow attract monsters? Boom, boom! Time for takeoff. Thank you, Vinci. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't. You're toast. Nice and spicy. <laughs> Let's play. <laughs> yeah. Think you can get away? What happened? Was it monsters? Oh, thank goodness you were here. I couldn't have taken them on all by myself. I'd have to uh, hide and wait until they were gone. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, I've got the fertilizer. The effects can take some time to kick in, so let's get on with it. Next, we pick the mushrooms and repeat the same steps as before to make another dose. <laughs> I trust you still remember the method. Hm. You know, the last time I heard someone giggling like a crazy idiot like that was in the chasm, and it's because they were eating mushrooms. Maybe he's eating the mushrooms too. Synthesize the nameless taboo medicine of the royal court. <laughs> nameless taboo medicine of the royal court. The smell of this stings your nose and will not easily fade. According to records, this medicine requires the power of the god of wisdom to awaken the addled mind. Hmm. Maybe we should just get Nahida? I mean, maybe? Hey, Colin. 
Hmm. Medicine's ready. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just, uh, after resting in this field for a while, my thoughts began to wander. I have been so very wary for many years. If only I could fall asleep here in this field and never wake up again. But though the curse denies you even this. <laughs> I do indeed. That's why it was just a f fleeting thought. Thank you for your help once again. And now, for the final step, back to the Statue of the Seven. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It's just, he's, so, he's so pissed about it. He's just so pissed. Archon to the rescue! <clears throat> I kind of hope you get to see Nahida. We're here. Let's begin. <gasps> Wait a moment. Hey! What was that? Kari Bear? Oh no! He must have left while we were too busy preparing the medicine to notice. He didn't have the thing on. on his arm. We have to catch up with him. A lamenter at fate's end. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't think this is going to end well. That's... that's not Kari Bear. Yeah, there's no silk scarf around his arm. Huh, right. Kari Bear's scarf was a gift I once gave to his mother. I use it now as a marker of sorts. Sure. My... my eyes must be going. <laughs> How could I not recognize my own son? <laughs> well... <laughs> this decrepit body of mine... <sighs> Still, the hilly trail was walking weird. Ah, huh. yes. It doesn't seem interested in us in the least. It seems intent on walking in that direction. That's Where the could chasm. it be going? Let's go have a look. Yes. <laughs> the more we know about hilly churls, the better. <laughs> Did it go in here? Hmm, well, uh, let's head in. What a ghastly place. Has it always existed? I, I swear I've never noticed it before. Huh. It looks like they're... Uh, Worshipping. Sometimes uh, walking, sometimes kneeling in worship, and, and it appears to be in earnest. I've never seen anything like this in all my life. What in the world does this place conceal? Oh, there's only one way to find out. It is kind of familiar.
I don't suppose we can interrupt them. Oh no. Oh my, that definitely looks like the abyss. Holy moly! Is this a teleportation device? What energy is powering it? is behind us. Okay. Looks like we're going to Economia. I saw this in the trailer. Oh. We're on the ceiling. I 
I've seen that symbol before. Solidify. did I get on the ceiling? Did the room turn upside down, or... gravity itself? Osmanthus wa- Okay, uh... Yeah, Lumin speaking since there is no Paimon, good point. We're getting dendro sigils, but I thought we were in Economia, which would be in Azuman sigils. Where do you want to go next? If you'd like to see Liyue's tourist spots, I have a few references. Should we... to find a place to insert the rune. Open the door! Ah! It's so weird Paimon can't be with us right now.
New boss fight. <laughs> halt, humans! Fate has not granted you the right to enter this place. An Abyss Herald? He doesn't look like someone from the Abyss Order. Mm, do you insist on an audience? Very well. And I grant you the trial of destiny. <laughs> he looks like a character from a Destiny 2 game. <laughs> oh, shoot! Stabilize! Order guide you! Nothing to fear. Gather. Brace yourself. Think you can get away? Who was that? <laughs> he was. Uh, he was. I've seen similar characters before. That's true. He was a perfect being. I'm in awe. What? He had the most wondrous aura, a perilous yet beautiful power. Oh, truly mesmerizing. And yet, you were able to defeat him. Oh, your strength is greater than I had imagined. <laughs> I just have lots of experience. Let's continue on. I find myself growing more curious by the second end. More excited. <laughs> yeah, the voice actor is very good. Oh, we forgot to get the chest back there. Hold on. I 
this order monster that uses a dark power to command ice and frost in battle. Some of its attacks decrease the stamina of characters. I think we've made it to the end. Wrapped in chains, hanging midair, emanating a sinister aura. It's just like the defiled statue. Yeah. So it has something to do with the Abyss Order. And these worshipping hillichurls remind me a little too much of the Grand Thief. Edie, this place is bad news. We gotta go. <sighs> Eat? Oh, dear creature. Why do you bow down? For fear of the unknown? Or for a power that you covet? Whose voice is that? It must be coming from inside my head. Oh, dear creature. Why do you bow down? For I am no god. I am but a sinner. A sinner? You are like a flower, born in sin, yet pure, spotless. I know your fate well. You need no longer hold back your resentment, nor accept the countless lies. Go forth, become a transcendent one. Rise beyond the fate bestowed upon you. Mm. And I shall shed a tear at the end of time, as I gaze back upon your life. Who in the world are you? The voice is gone. Sounds kind of familiar. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> when I saw that thing, my my heart was instantly at peace. I I was overcome by a, a sense of awe or, or joy, perhaps. Are you all right? I am. I feel uh, good. In fact, I, I, I feel better than I did before I came in here. <laughs> How peculiar. Hmm. Something's not right about this place. Oh, uh, is that so? All right, as you wish. But humans weren't allowed in said the abyss lector so whatever that thing is it's gathering hillichurls or hillichurl energy hmm. oh, Bear! oh thank goodness he's still okay don't we still need to go to the statue? I have a strange feeling that what just happened was meant to be. For this to happen, right at the moment when I was dreading worshipping at a statue of the Seven, it's as if fate was calling to me. <laughs> you say that I bowed before that thing, so perhaps it might be just as effective. Uh, if you insist. Well, I have to try. No matter what, you said it yourself. I, I have to exhaust all options. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Kari Bear? <sighs> Papa? 
way there. Oh, my goodness, it worked. It's a miracle, oh, oh Kari Bear, my dear son. I am stunned. You see, it worked. Kari Bear can speak again. Uh, where's Mama? Mama is. Uh, Kari Bear, look at me. Do you know who I am? Of course. Your papa. <laughs> yes, yes. Salvation! Sweet salvation! Yes, yes, this is this is what this feeling is. How, how do you feel, Kari Bear? Are you fully awake now? Yes. It feels like I just woke up from a long, long sleep. I dreamed that I was hiding in a little room. I didn't dare go out the whole time, and I didn't want to either. Uh, wait. Yeah. Uh, my body! What happened to me? Is this... Is this me? Papa? What's happened to me? Uh, it, it, don't panic, son. It's just... While you were sleeping, we... We went into a fairy tale world. There, there's no more Conria here. Um, no more home. But, 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 do you know what that means? No more red sky. No more end of the world. In this world, you, you have to be a, a little monster, but, but you get to stay with Papa forever. Am I dead? No, 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 of course not. Look, Kari Bear, you, you still have Mama's scarf on your arm. That means she's watching over you, protecting you. So how could you be dead? Really? Yes, really. You've all only just woken up, and, and this must all be very confusing for you. Just rest here for now. Things will get better. Oh, oh, and, um, you have to promise me something. Never take off your mask. Understand? Whatever happens, you mustn't take it off. Okay, Papa. I won't. I promise. Not since that day have I been so... Glad as I am now. I can't believe this is really happening. It is unbelievable. <laughs> I knew that placing my hope in the Seven was a waste of time. <laughs> I, I even worshipped at one of their statues like a, like a common fool. <laughs> Never before have I humiliated myself like that. Once a murderer, always a murderer. <laughs> I was naive to think that the gods who conspired against us would ever offer redemption. But the god we saw in that cave, oh, now that was a truly mighty god. Nothing like one of the seven. That wondrous power, it was truly enchanting. I... <laughs> Surely that, that must have been the reason I bowed down. Hmm. Now then, after one beseeches a god, and the god responds by answering their prayers, should they, uh, um, do something to show their devotion? Piety is hardly my area of expertise. <laughs> but surely I should honor the god that has honored my wishes. But that was not a god. A sinner? Oh, don't be absurd. You you don't know a single thing about him. How dare you utter such blasphemy? <laughs> you and I have both witnessed his divine power. When has the Seven worked a miracle like this before? Hmm? Never! He is a god mightier than they, and yet you would call him a sinner. Oh, preposterous! No matter. 
Believe what you will. You cannot shake my face. I am going to pay my respects with or without you. Mm. I don't think you should let him do that. Yeah, don't don't let him go there. Don't don't let him go there. He's not in his right mind. Stop at the statue of the seven will quickly heal. <laughs> hmm. Why can the traveler hear the sinner god and not eat? And he went from atheist to pious real quick, didn't he? And that's why it's good not to do things from a place of desperation. Oh boy. Paimon's absence is definitely making the story a little bit creepier, you could say that, yeah. I'm freaked out that Paimon isn't back yet. Hey, Garcia. Stabilize. Still want answers about that weird fungus fertilizer. <laughs> no, impossible. What happened? Hmm. It's right here. The hilly churl worshippers have disappeared, too. Wha was it all an illusion? We couldn't have both seen the exact same illusion. That's true. Yes, it, it can't have been an illusion. I still feel that awesome and wondrous power flowing through my mind and body. Yeah. It was neither illusion nor coincidence and, and certainly no dream. <laughs> It was a wonder. Yes, a divine wonder. Let's go, traveler. There is surely a reason for its disappearance, and I, I do believe that someday in the future we shall see it again. Let's just get back. 
Could he really have been a sinner and not a god? Hmm. I don't know about this. Kari Bear? Where has he gone? Okay, sorry. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe someone else came by and found him? No. No, it can't have been that. There's... There's no sign of a break-in, and, and no sign of anyone having been here. Maybe he ran off? This does not bode well. Yeah. What if he's spotted by a forest ranger or an adventurer in his current state that he'd... We have to find him. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't how we left it. The... Yeah, we left him with a mirror. Oh, no. Did he... The mirror, it's broken. It has been broken. What does the broken mirror mean? He must have taken his mask off and seen what he looks like beneath it. If he'd just done as he was told, we have to find him. But it was broken before. It's his scarf. He dropped it. It doesn't look like he uh, dropped looks it. Looks like we are going the right way. Uh, come on. seen you around here before. What's your business here? Have you seen a, uh, hilly churl? A, a hilly churl should have uh, come past this way. <laughs> have you seen it? I asked you first. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. I said, have you seen a hilly churl? <laughs> hey, whoa. Look, sir, there's no need to get so worked up. There are hilly churls everywhere. What's the big deal? We see plenty of them out here. Exactly. Matter of fact, we just took out a few of them back there. Those dumb boneheads. You... You... you forest ranger scum! You, you spawn of the seven are all the same! I'll have your heads if you so much as laid a finger on Curry Bear! You... You're raving mad! You've got some gall coming here to our nation insulting the forest rangers! Curse you all! Forest Rangers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop it, or the Forest Rangers and I will make you stop it. Both sides calm down for now, thanks to your urging. I don't get it. Why make such a huge fuss over a few hilly churls? Makes no sense. You. He'd only just regained his mind. How could you do this to him? How could they know? So tell me, forest rangers, did you really spare none of them? Did you really take out every last hilly churl you saw? Jeez, you're really not going to let this go. Fine, you weirdo. If you must know, I happened to cross paths with a solitary hilly churl when I left the team to, uh, <clears throat> use the toilet. I was frightened at first, but it didn't seem to have any interest in me at all. It was just bumbling along in that direction, so I left it alone. It could have been Kari Bear. <gasps> yes! 
Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's let's go. Uh, we, we have to find him. Wait, you're leaving? Not even a thanks for the info, goodbye? <laughs> <laughs> Guess not. Well, I guess I'm glad it didn't head towards the chasm. That's good, right? <sighs> Frustrated guys. Where the hell does it want me to go? Oh God. Oh god. Okay. Um Hey buddy. Cory Bear, stop! It's me! It, it's Papa! Whatever you saw, it, it was... It was all a trick. An illusion. I told you, we're in a fairy tale world now. Nothing here is real. Please, Cory Bear, come back. It's time to go back. Oh boy. Cory Bear? He's not responding. How could this happen? He regained his mind. He, he must be able to hear me. Surely. Come, Kari Bear. We have to go home now. Papa's here to take you home, all right? Something's not right. See, I understand now. Finally, it all makes sense. <laughs> Did I faint? I remember Kariber taking his mask off and then... Aha! Traveler, you're awake! Finally, we can rejoice together! Wait, no. Why am I still calling you Traveler? Oh, I have known your true identity for some time now. True identity? <laughs> I suspected it was you oh, from the beginning. <laughs> I had to talk to you to be sure. I've never met you before. Oh. Of course you haven't. With your status, you can hardly be expected to know all of us. In any case, I've been using a fake name this entire time. <laughs> Ida is the name of a servant I once had. My real name is Clotar. Clotar Alberic. Are you Kai's father? You saw it too, didn't you? Unmistakable, eh? The power inside Kari Bear and the power of the one you call us, Sinner. It was one and the same. 
<laughs> yeah. I am positive now. It's the power of the abyss, isn't it? Oh, at long last, I have seen it with my own eyes. I didn't see it clearly. That is no business of yours. A sinner, yes. Salvation for a sinner can only come from a sinner. Karabert did not deserve his fate, but now... It's wonderful. He will be able to weave his own destiny anew. Born into abject sorrow, he shall now become... The Loom of Fate. I'm going to hold back my thoughts. Huh. Sinister. Dangerous. Oh, I never imagined that you, of all people, would deny the abyss. How ridiculous. We once believed that you would bring new strength and hope to Conria. To us, you were the abyss. A wondrous mystery far beyond our imagination and comprehension. And the one who controls the abyss can control everything. We yearned for that future. We looked to you to take us there. But what did you bring us instead? Oh, Prince of Conria. What did he just call me? There's no sibling. There's no sibling. <laughs> Hey, Traveler! <laughs> Traveler! Oh my god, there's no sibling. while you were unconscious. Wait. I checked the ley lines nearby. It appears that the Abyss tampered with them, and they've been in turmoil ever since. Information and memories flow within the ley lines. What did you witness? The founder of the Abyss Order? Alberich? You mean Clotar Alberich? After founding the Abyss Order, his faith in the Abyss led him to do a great many things. But the curse of immortality continued to torment his body and mind. And in the end, neither his faith nor the abyss he worshipped could save him. After a hundred years, he lost his mind completely and was never seen again. Yet his dark legacy lived on. The defiled statue that we encountered previously was just one perverse product of his use of abyssal power during his life. My brother ultimately sided with him. You could say that. He wouldn't be the Abyss Order's prince otherwise. Are you all right? You have a troubled look on your face. Uh, what happened? I have so many questions. Hmm. So you saw his memories from centuries ago. Through your own eyes. It all but defies belief. Still, as I'd suspected, 
The notion of the loom of fate did indeed rear its head during that time. And it seems closely connected to Clotar Alberich's son, Caribert, and what happened to him. And yet your brother never breathed a word of this incident to me. I wonder, was that the moment that he decided to go down this path? I also wish that I could know what he thought about all of this. How could... Okay. Okay. But one thing is clear, this was not a happy memory. Indeed. Clearly this series of events sparked a long period of deep contemplation. This... was where it all began. I almost forgot. What is it? I need to know what lies buried in this field. The field? What does that have to do with anything? You mean here? Well, let's start digging and see. You scared the Duke out of Paimon! Did, did you rebury them yet? You can open your eyes now. A male and female skeleton, buried together. Interestingly, the male skeleton appears to have been interred much later. And it's holding a silk scarf in its hand. But what does this mean? And how did you know that there were bodies buried here? I think the bones of the man belong to Clotar Albrecht. What? That's impossible. There's a lot Unless of impossibilities happening right Clotar now. Clotar Albrecht finally found a way to rid himself of the curse. Perhaps. Mm. This all raises far too many questions. I need time to think, and to search my memories for some missing pieces. We should part ways here. Huh? You're just gonna leave? Why? You could come with us, you know? It's better that we split up for now. I think that he might have seen you. You mean the voice I heard inside my head? Yes. I have my suspicions as to his identity, but I need to confirm some other details before I can be sure. If the time is right, I will tell you when we next meet. But what do you mean that he saw the Traveler? How is that possible? It was just a memory. It'll happen hundreds of years in the past. I fear that while these things would limit anyone else, they are no obstacle to him. What? Why? What is he? A sinner. All right, let's leave it there. Get some rest. Goodbye. <laughs> there goes Dane. And just like that, it's back to being the two of us again, huh? What is it? I missed you. Huh? Holy moly! <laughs> so is there a sibling? Or is the sibling... With Paimon, just a resurrection of the first sibling. What? No. The prince, when we looked at ourselves in the mirror and we saw our brother, we were reliving a memory that our brother had. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as So I there remember. is a sibling. But where are those who sh Please stop talking. Okay, so... That quest went so hard! That quest slept! And she dreamed of what happened because of the ley lines. Okay, so she fell asleep. 
and was able to have a memory because her brother was previously in that area. I don't know. I think that voice sounds like Kaya's voice. It doesn't make sense, but it kind of makes a little bit more sense now. Uh, <laughs> Okay. So there... There are still potentially... Two siblings. And the prince is the other sibling from the past, whom we just interacted with through a very vivid, leyline interrupted memory. And Car Kari Bear was not supposed to take off his mask. So what happens if Kaya takes off his eye patch? <laughs> uh. Okay, so it was just a memory? And that's why Paimon wasn't with us because Paimon. There's a reason Paimon wasn't with us, and I'm not, I'm not sure that I can connect the dots right now. Holy crap. That was so much lore! Holy crap, that was so much. Um. Yeah, I, uh, that was amazing. But the mirror was already broken. Which means... The mirror being broken was our first hint that we weren't in reality. We weren't in present day. Because when the father was like, oh no, the mirror! And she was like, wait, but it was already broken before. That's how we... That was our first clue that like something was not right. Like we were like in a dream state or something. Or like inside a memory. And Kaya said that he was in Sumeru to check some spices. It still doesn't add up. Maybe if Paimon was there, it wouldn't make sense because it was your brother's memory. Yes, correct. Okay, so... Paimon can't travel with us when psychic or spiritual communication is happening is the best way that I would describe that. So like when someone is speaking to her, like when the balladeer was speaking to Traveler inside her head, Paimon couldn't hear it because that was psychic communication. And when she's traveling in time, Paimon may or may not hear it if Paimon is actually with us. But if we're dreaming, Paimon wouldn't really be with us. Because at first I had, I was thinking, is Dane's Leaf real? Is Paimon real? But I think they are real. I think they mark present day, if that makes sense. Also, how is Kaya's father going to be white? <laughs> they look very different. Just saying. And if his illegitimate child, or, yeah, his ill, if Kaya's father had an illegitimate child, that means that Kaya had a mother that was pure Conrian blood. And we haven't met her yet. Honestly, it could have something to do with Candace. Candace has her weird eyes and she's dark skinned and her whole thing is coming from royal blood. 
Hmm. Dude, my brain is like gonna explode right now. That was nuts. Whew. Gotta hand it to me, Hoyo. That was very good. Hi, that was definitely the most lore I've been I I've I've tried to sort through in a long time. Holy crap. Holy crap!